It's today's RB and Throwbacks. Mike Kiss 1031 Mills of the MIC in the building, joined by a very special guest. Once again, you'd have seen this brother on a whole bunch of movies, a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, he's also got the paparazzi following him around all the road. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Brandon T. Jackson What's is in the good? building. What's good, man? How you doing, man? I'm good, bro. We brother. live up in here, man. Yeah, we. I, hey, Colleen, I love y'all. Y'all been showing me so much later where I go. People stop me, man. I didn't even know y'all even knew me over here, and I love it. <laughs> they like, what's up, man? I'm like, how you doing? They brand the Jackson dude with the goat legs. I'm like, <laughs> the dude from Tropic Thunder. I'm like, what's good? That is crazy because we uh, I was trying to drag him into the studio earlier today, and so many folks just start jumping out their cars, My God. pulling up in the street, like, come yo, to the show, come, let's kick it. Can we have a uh, a little chill time where we? We can just kick it and laugh together. That's what it laughing up comedy lounge. I know I'm promoting, but I'm here. I'm in y'all city, man. If y'all gonna show me love on the streets like that, I hey, hey, come come through and say what's up. No doubt. Come see him tonight. Kicking off tonight, laughing up comedy lounge, and he's got five big shows. Yes, five shows. Uh, we out here two shows tonight. We got an eight and ten. Mm -hmm. Two shows tomorrow, eight and ten, mm -hmm. and we got a uh, one show Sunday. I'm checking with my my promoter slash owner, <laughs> my man JB in the building. JB in the building, man. LB, baby, it's all good. LB, my bad, my bad, man. my bad, brother. My he got bad. me, but he got me standing <laughs> wrong. I've been with you. That's my fault. I'm laughing. That's my fault. No, no, because I know it's never with him all day. You got me. I repeat it. Y'all funny. Man, this is crazy. Uh, okay, so laughing up this weekend. Uh, and folks, oh, yeah. And if folks haven't seen you stand up. Uh, oh, yeah. They're loving it. they loving and, it, man. And, uh, and it's totally clean. That's, oh, yeah, man. That's, that, that's it's somebody funny, know. But, but who told you it was clean? Who told you that? Uh, nobody how, told how'd you, me. How'd you hear? Nobody told me. I just... I just. You, you, but you see how the vibe just that's goes out? Mm -hmm. It's funny because I never branded myself as a clean comic at all. Uh -huh. I, actually, if you look at my films, I actually cussed a lot right, right. in my films. It was, it was more so a spiritual thing where like I, when, I, when I started to move things... The way that um uh to my purpose, I should say, I start selling out everywhere. Mm -hmm. And I said that was the reason why I did it. I just I stepped out on faith, was like, you know what, I'm gonna do it like this and just let me try it. Because one, let me tell you what made me mad. I was supposed to do Jimmy Kimmel. Right. And I couldn't I, I started out as a clean comic. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't get on stage and it was like, We need you to do a clean set. I'm like, you know, I had to let had the litter on, leather on. I'm like, you know, man, clean. So then I, I started, you know, I started doing the uh writing the set mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they was like i couldn't write i couldn't write my set for for kim when i missed my spot on kimmel i was supposed to do kimmel for a film right and do my stand-up on it i, I couldn't at the time i had to pre-practice a clean set and submit it mm -hmm. by a couple days and i couldn't submit a clean set right and that bothered me i'm like wait a minute you need to let them out if you're a comic or not you need to be able to be more creative, be able to do a clean if you or, or, or dirty or whatever. You're a dirty comic mm -hmm. and you can't even do clean. Mm -hmm. That's what made me mad. Like, why can't I even do clean? Right, right, right. I felt shorted. Like, wait a minute. Am I that, you know, I don't want to say dark, but I can't even. <laughs> my grandmama can't even come see me. <laughs> you know, this daytime TV. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, As right. an artist, that made me so mad. And, right. and my mom, my mom reminded me, my mom came to my show for the first time. Mm -hmm. Uh... Um, yes, the last weekend. Wait, wait. So wait. Let me get this straight. Now, I, I, we we talked earlier in the week. You've been doing stand up since you were fourteen. Fourteen. And your mom just now. Well, is before getting when I was fourteen, it. I did it in a church. Uh -huh. But so that don't really come. But I'm okay. coming out to the clubs to come see right, me. Right, right, right. This was the first time she came out to the clubs to come see me. Uh huh. And it was like she almost cried. Wow. Because she said you were funnier than everybody else. And um, Will Smith, grandmama told her. Uh, he she said if you can find a way to rap without cursing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. then we can see how really funny you are right right or, or good rapper you are right, my mom right. kind of said the same thing to right. me everybody on the thing was doing the thing and i'm not look i'm not knocking no dirty comics right because bernie mac i love i laugh at everything this you was just can't. A, you can't it's, it's my dude you know that's that that's you know what i'm saying i believe that i don't believe that um you know if you you know what i'm saying everybody got their own personal journey some mm -hmm. things work for some people some, people, some things don't right and i started doing and, and to be honest the swearing at the time worked for me. I was I was doing movies. I was doing, and I, and I still am doing the films and everything. But right. it worked, y'all. You know, so it's not to be self righteous or anything. It's like in this season of my life, this is where it's, I love what Steve Harvey said: is don't don't uh, don't quit. God ain't through with me yet. The whole yeah, thing. Right, uh -huh. He did a whole thing without swearing was one of his biggest biggest shows. Right. Shows ever. Absolutely, absolutely. And that was maybe sometimes you as a personal journey you might have to do it for yourself. Hey, look, I don't want to just say, hey, look, I'm just this this type of comic. Mm -hmm, at the mm -hmm. same time, where I'm at right now, this is what where 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 I'm at, you right. know. And it's it's working, it's going well. 
you know, um, I don't like the people you cuss. Like, oh my God, you know. Right. They say some people, you know, cuss off screen so much. Yeah. That <laughs> right. They're like, yo, what why? That, you? What was that old NWA song? Uh, uh, just came <laughs> to use profanity when up on the microphone. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right, so right. you want to be real, you know, to who you are. And mm. right now, where I'm at spiritually, I just, it just, I mean, it just, it just started happening. It wasn't like a, you know, what I'm saying right. it wasn't like a big. You know, epiphany thing. I just stopped swearing. You know, right? I understand. I understand. Uh, laughing up comedy lounge this weekend. Five big shows. Fernie on Facebook says, "Hey, hey, tell me a free joke." A free joke? Uh, that's no, a no. It's paid jokes. Not ever. You, you, took, you took the words out of my... <laughs> paid jokes. Yo, great, look, look, look. Stop right now. Look, I'm stopping the time for right now. She took the words. took the words out of my mouth. <laughs> go get tickets right now at the Laughing Up Comedy Lounge. Ain't you can no freely free go get <laughs> tickets. <laughs> give you no free jokes. No, she can <laughs> freely go get some tickets at the, at the Laughing Up Comedy Lounge. <laughs> Why is pen so big? Uh, <laughs> hey, if y'all watching this on Facebook, like he got the biggest cartoon. Bugs Somebody Bunny. Gave me that. Somebody gave me that. Uh, six Flags. <laughs> they do Six Flags, man. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Bugs Bunny. What's going on? Uh, that's just in case we get a game of pen break breaking uh -oh. out. In Remember league. that? Yeah, yeah, Remember that game? Look, look. Ah, I, break. I got the ringer on deck. We call them breakies, though. Yeah, what y'all call them? Pen breaks? Uh, pencil breaks. Break. That's Detroit. Break. Breaks. Uh, call them breaks. Pencil break. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, crack. Whatever you want to call yeah. it. Yeah. Whatever you want to you at you may be uh, <laughs> laughing up comedy lounge this weekend uh big shows five big shows and uh and before i get you out of here man um uh, uh there's something uh your spirituality is something that you've been mm -hmm. talking about a lot uh something that you're real big on uh, yeah. uh tell the folks about that uh well me i follow christ but i'm an israelite you know that follow mm -hmm. christ i know my my my, my nationality uh, you know a lot of us call us blacks a lot of us call us you know those are just those are our color you know what i'm saying who right. we were called by the father's name you know that's who we were in in scriptures you know what i'm saying that's right. who we were in the ancient times that's who we were when we built the pyramids and we were slaves to egypt that's who that's who we were absolutely and that's who we still are to this day absolutely so understanding your heritage and and who we are as a people and understanding with the with the uh the uh, the, the mashiach or christ mm -hmm. you know that is the key to our success right as black men as men, our gasoline is the father. And that, I, hey, look, I tell you one thing. This system against us so much, you need Jesus, okay? <laughs> so you ain't gonna falter in that. That's all I'm saying. It, it's working for, it's working for me, okay? Uh, Sherelle, she's coming to your show Come this on, weekend. Come on, Sherelle. She says, tell him I say hi. She says she wants to say hi. What up, Sherelle? She's coming to the show this weekend. Come she got through. hooked up with some tickets this afternoon. Come and through. You can get hooked up too. Go to ColleenLaughLounge.com to come see Brandon T. Jackson this weekend at the Laughing Up Comedy Lounge lounge five big shows man Let's it's go, so man. excited Love man and uh before well, one more thing one more thing i want you to play a game with me do you uh -oh. mind playing a game let's with go me? let's play i don't know nah, i know you i know you're on your spiritual no, but... man. come on man I'm, All right. let's go I'll we have right. a game here that we play with our guests called what are you searching for the number four Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. All right. So you know when you go into Google and you type in like something that you're starting to search for, it tries to predict the four things that you're searching for oh, about that person. So when I typed in Brandon T. Jackson, uh -huh. I got four answers. What was it? I'm not telling you. I want you to guess. Uh, <laughs> I want you to who, guess. Who is Brandon T. Jackson's wife? His, that is correct. His that age, is correct. His, that, hold on, hold on. Now that first one is correct. You his, nailed that one. His age. That is correct as well. Wow, this is impressive. And um, that's two out of four. I, I think spirituality. Do you want to know that? No, mm -mm, that is oh, incorrect. Parents. That is Dad? incorrect. That is incorrect. Uh, age, two more. Was it age. No, I said you that's already said age. age. You already say age. Wife. And wife. Height. Nope. Dang. Um, <laughs> Penalty shot on deck. <laughs> let me see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, if he gets these wrong, he's gonna have to drink this penalty shot of Paul Masson. Uh, oh <laughs> my God! Um, it's called the penalty shot. Why don't you, why don't you have a beer? <laughs> I'll do a beer, the, man. This is the penalty shot. Uh, <laughs> look, he's trying to get it wrong on purpose. Uh, <laughs> uh, two more answers. Two oh more. my God! Two more, um, and I'll oh, let you up, daughter. Hook. That is incorrect. What? That is incorrect. Kids? Nope. That is what incorrect. What y'all want to know about me? <laughs> what more do you want from me? <laughs> all right, so. What is right, it? All right, I'm going to give you the other two. All right, you got age, you got wife. The other one is movies. Really? Movies. Oh, that's not good. That's good. Okay. But man, come on. Man. <laughs> Scams. Okay. okay. I should have known that. And the fourth one. What? 
It's Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Yo, you know why? Because <laughs> before everybody was doing Black Panthers and everything, I was doing these little epic films, and everybody thought I was crazy. Everybody was laughing at me because I was doing these little epic films. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody like, oh, you think you, uh, you know, because I was a half goat in the little thing and everything. Right, right, People, right. You know, brothers in the hood and everything. You know, right. we, we like, you know, they wasn't used to a brother being in those type of epic films. And now you got all that wrinkle in time, Black Panther. So I'm happy that finally we, we doing the stuff. As a, as a unit together in these epic films, and shout out to Black Panther if you haven't seen that movie, go see that support. I don't art. know if you ain't, if you ain't really seen it yet. I don't know what the hell your problem I, is. I don't know if you even consider your you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> your black card has been thoroughly, thoroughly reexamined and possibly revoked. Hey, uh, <laughs> shout out to that. I'm on that show too. Black card revoke on BET. So okay. I'm on that show too. So if y'all seen my couple episodes, I know um uh, y'all understand what Angie uh now what is it? uh Patriot Martinez is. So everybody know what that is. Long story. <laughs> y'all see the show. <laughs> no time laughing up comedy lounge this weekend brandon t jackson five big shows uh if they want to follow you on the social media go ahead and get that brandon info t jackson follow me at brandon t jackson and everything and uh shout out to my girl lauren hill who was not crazy no. and follow out to shout out to dave chappelle who was not crazy no shout out to the real prophets that's coming through that's not crazy so then my people over there you see what i'm saying now they don't look so crazy no, and, and, and that's something i was just talking i was just he talking got 60 million came back man and that's what i was talking to lb about before before we came in it was uh -huh. like you know the fame side a lot of yeah. people don't see and 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 one of the things I always tell folks is y'all don't see once you get on this side of the fence and you get to see yep. the backstage and you get to yep. see the life and you get to see what y'all go through. These people, y'all ain't crazy. No, nah, <laughs> you're pretty sane. I mean, but but one of the great things about your story is, again, uh, uh, you're out here in Hollywood. You got your spirituality and that seems to keep you. Uh, man, work for me. Everybody say, oh, equality, equality, equality. Let, why can't, if, if everything's equality, and let everybody believe what they're going to believe. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Right. You can't knock somebody. Believe. If somebody's a, a known whatever they believe in, it's not your job to be like, well, you're wrong or mm -hmm. whatever. Everybody do what they do what they do. And, right. and if it's working for you as far as that, you know, but the, your truth, I think that's one absolute truth, but you can't make somebody sometimes see your perspective. They right. got to, it has to be revealed to them. So that's why I don't get in these arguments back and forth with people online. Mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. do that. You know, I just speak truth. And, and, and if, the, you know, Cat and all them, yeah, Cat had a, had a, had a, had a crazy period, but. I think it was more wilding out on the system mm -hmm. because you know what I'm saying. But right. his whole thing is Cat be speaking that truth too. I love he Cat. Do. He do. He do. Cat, shout out to Cat Williams. Shout out to all these comics that that that's you know that's trying to you know make a change in our in our communities and everything and really trying to do the, the the thing and not just doing it for selfish gain. So that's where I'm at, man. I mean that's where my legacy's at. So that's I'm I'm on it. I'm I'm. A, and before you get out of Let's here, and speaking of legacy, uh, I see you got the logo. Uh, that, that's, uh, that's your company. Uh, well, <laughs> somewhat. Uh, we're doing a collaboration. Uh, okay. Kingdom over everything. Uh, Productions also Kingdom clothing. Uh -huh. uh, this is a stone. It's a stone. Uh, see the lion. Yeah. The lion Hold on. Make sure y'all see that back there. There you go. It's the lion, of, lion, of, lion of Judah right now. So we, yeah, we out here. We got, we got stuff. I wear my own clothes. I wear my own stuff and everything. I collab with other black owners. Um, and I, not just black, but everybody. But right. People that's on the same interest, we collab together and we we, we just uh, make things happen. You yeah, know, you got big things on the way, man. Uh, lots of productions, lots of work, and uh, we, I'm excited, man. We solely excited, but we focus on tonight, tonight, and all this weekend. Five shows, five shows. Let's Come through, and no, no free jokes. <laughs> no free jokes. She said, "Let's do dinner then." You want to do dinner? Uh, can she see it? Can, Stop it! That man's married. That get man a close, is get married. Get a close up. Get a. You can bring. Come bring him a plate. That look, we leave it at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just throw it back. Long as ain't no Louisiana spaghetti. You know. What I'm saying? Wait, Stop. hold on, hold on. What you got against Louisiana spaghetti? I'm from Louisiana. No, no, you don't know about that. that that's that's the saying. You know what I'm talking about? That's the saying. Nah, that's put a little that. put a little root on you. <laughs> <laughs> Come see you this weekend. Five incredible shows at the Laughing Up Comedy Lounge, ladies and gentlemen. Brandon T. Jackson, he's here all weekend long. Follow him on the social medias and get your tickets at ColleenLaughLounge.com. And come see him this weekend, Laughing Up Comedy Lounge. Man, I appreciate you stopping through, brother. Thank you, man. Brother. Appreciate that. No doubt, man. Thank you for stopping through. Mel's on the MIC. What's up? Now heard weekdays from noon to 3 on today's R&B at Old School. 103.1 KISS FM.